So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and then type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet, it doesn't matter. You just wanna double click on it and then click on properties. Then you're gonna click on instant protocol version four. Now you're gonna make sure that use the following DNS server address has been selected. You're gonna make the first line 8888 and you're gonna make the second line 8844 and then click on okay. Now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search again and then type in CMD. Then you're to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Then we're gonna type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. Now it's gonna ask you to restart your computer but don't restart it yet till you complete the next step in the video. Now for the third step, you're gonna head over to search and then type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're gonna click on Advanced Settings and then you're gonna click on Inbound Rules and then click on New Rule. And now we're gonna select Port, click on Next and then you wanna select UDP. And then in this box right here, we're gonna type in 49152-65535. Click on Next, click on Next again. Click on next again, and then for the name, just put it as Rust, and then click on finish. Now for the last step, you want to head over to Steam, and then click on your library, then you want to find Rust. You want to right click on it, click on properties, click on installed files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restate your computer, and then the problem will be fixed.